We're at ZND in Rotherham. Now, if you've been to an event, a festival, or a construction site, you'll be familiar with the products they manufacture. These guys are a great example of innovation through automation. Also, working very closely with partners such as Kuka Robotics. So let's get inside and see what they do. Paul, I mentioned events, festivals, and construction sites. What do you actually manufacture here? Uh, well, on this side, I mean, this is one of us one or two of his major products. This is the temporary fencing lines. Um, this is temporary fencing, uh, we made the mesh here, we made the, the fence panels here. But if you look over on the um, temporary, on the mesh line over there, this, the mesh comes through the lines, and as it gets to the end, you can see the first introduction of the Kuka robot here. Um, basically what, what this does is it's, it's used to stack the, the mesh into palatinas before being transferred over onto the, the fence panel line. Now on the process itself, you'll be able to go through the process and see different stages where we're welding corner, corner plates, uh, welding the tubes together, bending the tubes first of all, and it follows through the line uh, until the mesh is actually welded on. Uh, you'll see that every wire on the mesh is welded, um, but it's welded on these panels that we're looking at here on, on three sections before it's finally packed off and ready for an hour to go. Okay, so, fully automated process, you start with the wire over there, the first introduction to Kuka robots, and then through the whole process, bending, welding, final product there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, this, this line came in round about 2009, um, and Sims said it's the first introduction into the, the Kuka robot, yeah. So it's fully automated, yeah. Now this is a fantastic operation, but you've actually moved on with the other product and fully automated welding. So I should go and have a look at that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Paul, the fencing area was really, really impressive, but this goes to another level. So what's actually going on here? Yeah, this is our barrier section. So basically this is where we make barriers for all the events, like uh, big events like uh, Glastonbury and things like that. First of all, what we'll get, we'll get the plain tubing. We'll feed that into the end of the line. Since so it's, it's swaged um, on one end, and then basically it's come down to the next section where it's bent, so you get the two bends. Um, it bends two sections, which are to be inserted later. So, feeds these down to the line and puts a um, four feet on one of the sections, on the bottom section. Welds these to it with using a smart weld. Um, then basically on the next section, it inserts the frame together. So your two halves come together and it places all the infill tubes in at that point. So your barriers that you see with, with all the infills that you can see is behind us here. Um, that's how they're basically made. On the next section, uh, basically, you, you, you'll get your hook and eyes welded on there. You'll get your strengthening rods for the feet uh, throughout the next sections um, before it actually goes into the robot cells here. So. Okay, and the robots themselves, they're welding the, the final bits? Not actually welding, they're actually brazing. Um, the difference between welding and brazing, what, what happens is the... Uh, the weld will actually penetrate the material, which means if you do that, you, you compromise your, um, your galve on the material, which means then they've got to be re-sprayed, stop them from corroding. We use a braze, so the braze will actually glue the two parts together, if you like. It's a, it's a much more efficient process. Okay, and the robots have enabled you to get that efficiency and that quality? Yes, that's right. I mean, the robots, the weld robots, or, or the brazing robots, were actually introduced to improve the quality of the product. We used to build these without the braze on, um, but we, we needed a, a better quality product, one that would hold together better. Uh, so that's why the brazing was introduced. So on the robots, this enables us to give us a, a stronger barrier, really, that we can offer to our customers. Now, Paul, I know it's, it's almost full here, so I think we better move on because we're just about to get run over. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So once this section's full, it will flip it up and we'll actually send these out the door. So, yeah. right, let's move on then. Okay. Paul, oh, I've already said what a fantastic facility this is and how automation and robots work really well and just have improved productivity. But can you give me a quick summary of that, please? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I mean, these, these lines were introduced in uh, 2012. The first line was introduced. Uh, we only had one Kuka robot on at that time. Um, so at that time, what we, we used to do, we used to just transfer the barriers from the smart welds onto the end of the line. We needed more strength in that. So what we did is we... We introduced the braze, as you said earlier, and then put the three brazing robots on there. If we, if we were to do that same process and produce the same barriers um, through a manual process, 
that would take us about 16 men per ship to do do what these brazing robots do. But now, what we're actually gone from is doing instead of 80, 80 a ship, we're actually on each of these lines we're doing 500 a ship. Well, wow, some impressive statistics there. But since you've had the automation, has there been a reduction in manpower requirements? Absolutely not. Uh, if anything, we've seen an increase because we're now with the brazing uh, on the robots. Uh, we're able to provide a, a better quality product. The demand for the product has gone much higher. So because of that, we've had to increase the men that we actually need to be able to maintain the lines. So, yeah. Excellent. And you mentioned about the quality and efficiency of the robots on the, on the braze. The braze itself, I mean, if we were to weld them, yeah, we'd have double work on that because uh, we'd have to weld and respray. Uh, the efficiency of the, the, the robots actually give us enable us to be able to keep up production and keep up with the demands of the customer. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, so real efficiency and high quality. Now, there's one really impressive figure you quoted there. So how many barriers were we making before and once this farm is in place? Yeah, so um, in an eight-hour shift, we used to produce probably 80 barriers as an eight-hour shift. Now we're actually producing 500 per line. So that's a 1,000 barriers within the eight hours. So. That's absolutely amazing statistic. Great example, really, of innovation through automation.